I've got a really quick but super effective workout in store for you that's going to tone and strengthen your back. We're going to begin down on our stomach. So meet me there. Once you get there, stack your forehand, or excuse me, stack your hands and bring your forehead down to your hands. Take a breath. Then to prepare for our first exercise, pull your belly button up towards your spine. Bring your legs hip width apart. Extend your arms out shoulder width apart. Inhale to prep. On an exhale, lift your right arm, left leg slowly up to the top. Exhale, or excuse me, inhale, slowly lower down. So let me be clear here. Inhale to prep. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Long, slow breaths. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift up. Now, as you're moving here, make sure you're paying attention to your range of motion. The bigger your movement, the more challenging this becomes. You also want to make sure your torso is staying still. So as your limbs are moving, torso is stable. Nice. One more set. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Very nice. From here, plant the tops of your feet into the ground so that your kneecaps come up. That just helps engage your legs, which will help um, provide some support for this next exercise. Bring your arms out to um, almost like a B position. Inhale to prep. Then on your exhale, pull your shoulder blades together so your upper body comes up a bit. Inhale, slide back down. Exhale, pull your shoulder blades together. So this one not only targets your lower back, but also the space between your shoulder blades, your upper back, which is always a beautiful thing. Exhale, pull. Good. Gaze down at your mat to keep your neck neutral. Big exhale. Inhale down. One more if you can. Exhale, shoulder blades towards your midline, towards your spine. Very nice. Then stack your hands, forehead down, rest for a moment. Deep breath. We're going to do one more round of our first exercise, swimming. So when you're ready for it, extend your arms out in front of you. Make sure your shoulders are staying back in their sockets so they're not creeping up to your ears. You're keeping your shoulders strong as you're lengthening your arms out. With that being said, inhale to prep. Exhale, lift. One arm in the opposite leg. Inhale, lower with control. Exhale, lift slowly. Good. Keep moving at your own pace with your breath. You're focusing on lengthening. Stabilizing your torso. And increasing your range of motion just slightly with each lift. Nice. One more set. Make it good. Exhale the lift. Inhale lower. Beautiful. Stack your hands. Forehead down. Rest. You're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, if you'd like to find child's pose, do that on your next exhale, pushing your hips back towards your heels. Big toes together to touch, knees mat width apart, forehead either touching the mat or touching your stacked fists. Deep breaths. We have one more exercise to do. The Pilates Bridge. This one's going to happen on our back. So on your next inhale, roll up. Then make sure both knees are bent to protect your lower back. Roll to your shoulder and around. Plant both feet. And bring your arms out. Um, they can be out at a T or for a bigger challenge, closer to your midline. Shoulders pulling towards your hips, not your ears. 
Inhale to prep. On your exhale, peel your vertebrae one at a time up off the mat so you're lifting your hips. The higher you lift, the more challenging this becomes. Inhale, lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Good. Exhale, lift. Now keep moving at your own pace with the rhythm of your own breath. But regardless of how fast or slow you're moving, there's a few things that we all want to be paying attention to. Number one is belly button pulling towards your spine. We want to make sure our abdominal muscles are supporting us um, as we're moving through this exercise. Secondly, make sure the big toe sides of your feet are staying grounded. What that's going to do is get your knees into alignment. It's going to fire up your inner thighs, which will help protect your lower back as you strengthen. Nice. Two more if you can. Make them good. Exhale to come up. One vertebrae at a time. Breathe everything out. Squeeze. Inhale, lower down. One more time. If you haven't already noticed with this one, you're getting the bonus of toning and strengthening your buns and thighs a little bit too. Always a good thing. Come on down. Really nice job. And we'll finish up by pulling our knees into our chest. This position is great for releasing um, the lower back. If it would feel good, you can rock side to side. Wiggle your toes. Stick out your tongue. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then stop any movement with your legs and just look side to side with your head to loosen up your neck a bit. Awesome, roll to your side, keeping your knees bent to protect your lower back. Push yourself up gently, and that will do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Can't wait to see you back on your mat again very soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you found this content helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Also, if you're wondering how to become healthier, I've created a free masterclass for you that is truly your ultimate wellness guide. It's called Fit and Fabulous for Life, seven secrets that'll help you find your healthy living sweet spot. If you're intrigued, you should see a link to it on your screen now. You'll also find a link to it in the description box of this video. Thanks again for tuning into this video, and I hope you'll consider checking out my free Fit and Fab masterclass.